Now I've got a huge selection of blending brushes and I absolutely love them, they're my favourite tool, but I've been experimenting with cleaning them lately because lots of them look like this. And that means my blending is much less than perfect. The bristles are sort of clumping together. Now this is caused by the use of my Distress Oxides. I know that, it doesn't happen with my Distress Inks. So I had a little bit of an investigation and it turns out that it's actually the pigment element of the Distress Oxides that's causing the problem. Now if you imagine your makeup brushes, um, the foundation in particular, liquid foundations when you get them into makeup brushes, the same sort of thing happens because the powdered element of the foundation sticks and clumps together in the brushes, whereas everything else will wash out nice and easily. So similar sort of concept. So I've decided to take three household solutions and see if we can clean these up with as little expense as possible to your pocket and the best results. So let's see how we get on. So I've been in my kitchen cupboard and the first item I bought out was my washing up liquid. Never mind the brand, just the usual degreaser washing up liquid and I'm going to put a blob onto my dusty Concord brush because this is actually one of the worst ones for that clumping. So I'm doing this dry to try and get the ingredients to be as active as possible, um, to really get into the ink and such. I think the water would dilute down any solutions that I'm putting on. So I'm giving it a really good rub with my thumb there. And yes, I do get really mucky fingers doing this. You might want to do it over the sink. Uh, hence I've put kitchen towel down. But already I can see it's making a difference. It, there is a little bit of foam, but I can see the bristles are cleaning up already. So I'm going to leave that to work on uh, whatever's in there. You can see my pink thumb there. Uh, and the next item I'm going to use is cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Now, I do a lot of natural solutions for my skincare and my hair, hair care. I mean, look at what happens when I put this onto the brush. It fizzes immediately, which is actually really encouraging, but then look at the mess. Because it's much more of a liquid, I'm just putting it absolutely everywhere and staining my hands. If you're gonna try this one, definitely do it over the sink. I had to go and wash my hands now. Again, I'm going to leave that to soak in before rinsing it out. And olive oil. Now, olive oil is, uh, oil kind of removes oil and grease. And I just thought I'd try it. You know, I wasn't convinced this was going to work, but I've used olive oil as a face wash before to break down greases and oils on my face. And I thought, you know what, let's have a go. So again, rubbing that all in, uh, getting it right in the brush bristles. Now, a lot of the issue is that we clean the tips of the bristles but we don't usually get right down in between them. So what I've done here is I'm, I'm now leaving them about five minutes to sit and let whatever I've put on each brush do its magic. Now while these were working, I actually took my hairbrush cleaner. This is something I actually got from Primark. It's just some, it's just a wire brush really. And I just dug deep down into those bristles to make sure each of the solutions were getting down as low as possible because they're so tightly clumped together at the base of the brush um, that it's really hard to even get your fingers in there and rub the solution in. So I just did this um, carefully so as not to ruin my brush to each of them. So now time to wash all these solutions off. I'm going to put them all in lukewarm water. Now I'm not using hot water because I'm concerned about the glue holding the bristles in. I don't want to melt that. Uh, another reason I didn't want to leave the oil on too long. Now you can see that blue coming out from the um, apple cider vinegar one, the purple from the fairy liquid. There wasn't too much difference. There was a little bit of the ink came out um, from the one with the olive oil, but all in all, look, you can see straight away the white bristles of the uh, the purple one, which was the uh, washing up liquid coming through. So I gave these all a really good scrub. I was separating the bristles, trying to get the water in there as much as possible, trying to make sure that all the solution was out, all the pigments had come out of the bristles as well. And I worked through this for about five minutes or so. 
and then it got some clean water to repeat it. But you can see in there the colour is deep down in the bristles, hence the reason for needing to really open these up whilst they're in the water and get out as much as possible. Like I said, when we do clean these off on, on a daily basis, we usually just wipe the very tips of the bristles, but it's down inside that we really need to get. So I'm just repeating this with the clean water with all three of the brushes the same. Now the one that had olive oil on just felt ever so greasy so I decided to use a tiny little bit of washing up liquid to see if I could break down that grease. Uh, I couldn't leave that in there, there's no way this was going to be soft and fluffy with it in so this one, we'll see how it turns out but this one has also had washing up liquid in it as well. I then laid all three of them on a warm radiator upside down so that the liquid falls out on a piece of kitchen towel and just left them to dry on their own to start with. I left them for a couple of hours like this. Now I'm the least patient person in the world ever so I couldn't wait for them to air dry for 12 to 24 hours however long it was going to take. So I took a hair dryer and I put it on cool and I was separating the bristles and making sure the warm air kind of it was just mildly warm, it wasn't hot, it wasn't cold, cold air. Uh, but just making sure it got right deep in to try and evaporate all that water. Now, basically the uh, bristles are nylon, so they're not going to um, hold on to the water for too long, but you do need to allow the water to evaporate or escape out of there, partially them for uh, sitting the bristles upside down when you dry them. So here you can see I'm just separating them as much as possible, getting the airflow around them as much as I can. And I did do this with all three brushes. So in conclusion, I think we can see clearly which one the winner is. Definitely the um, washing up liquid or the dish soap, whichever you like to call it. That seems to have got right into the bristles. Now I believe the clumping is definitely caused by um, sort of the pigments lower down in the bristles. So this really got in there and seemed to get them out. Now you can see some staining. I would expect staining on the bristles anyway because distress oxides are made up of a dye and a pigment. The dye is going to do cause some staining in places, but that's not really going to cause the clumping. It's the pigment element. Imagine your foundation. It's that powder in the liquid that's going to stick to things and cause the clumping. So uh, definitely the uh, washing up liquid was the best. You can see the difference actually really clearly between a clean br brush that's not clumping up anymore, that's nice and fluffy, compared to say this one, which is still dried exactly the same, feels dry, but still has that clumping going on. So the uh, olive oil, I think that just did not help at all. I mean, yes, it's cleaner, but it still seems that the bristles are clogged. I'm going to repeat uh, the treatment with the washing up liquid on this one and the same for this one. Now, although the side vinegar, the apple cider vinegar seemed to have a really good reaction when I first put it on there, it was sort of fizzing. I thought, oh, it's really getting in there and doing something. There was a lot of ink on this brush, I'll admit that, but I still felt that I needed to go back in um, with another layer. I mean, it may have been that as a double treatment, washing up liquid and apple cider vinegar might do something, but this one still isn't as fluffy and clean as I'd like it. I definitely think washing up liquid, hands down, the winner there. So thankfully, a nice inexpensive solution, hopefully to your brushes that are clumping. Now, I think the purple one was one of the uh, worst for it, and this has definitely come out the best. So really, really pleased with how that's gone. Uh, let me know at home if you try any other amazing home remedies as well for your ink blending brushes. If you like this video, make sure that you are subscribing to my channel just here. And I'd love to see you for things like my Distress Oxide Colour Combination series, which you can find just here. Take care, everybody. I'll see you again very soon.